Hey everybody, welcome back to here, where, oh, hello, daughter. Wow, you're just like right on there, huh? Well, anyway, I like to be rudely interrupted. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to start over with Whistleblower, Outlast Whistleblower, because I kind of messed them up the last couple nights, so this is the full beginning to the end. It should only take... Does it take two hours? It's probably gonna take me four because I suck. So, where's it gonna go? Turn the volume up. Oh, good job. Congratulations. Put your headphones on. Be close to a bathroom. This is gonna scare the shit out of you. <laughs> this is gonna scare the shit out of me. Hey, enough talking. Do this. Turn it down. Have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here, let me help. Uh, Andrew, you getting these alerts? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. We hope. They're not happy about it? No. Shit. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Come on. Yeah. That ain't all there is to hate. There's a lot more to hate. So this is what happened right before... Outlast. The guy sending the letter to the investigator. So apparently this is supposed to be scarier than the game the first the original game, so we shall see. And a little bit I got into didn't disappoint, so is it is it loud? Park? They've paged for you three times already. There's something urgent at the engine. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software. Okay. You can hear me okay? You're Wayland Park, aren't you? Why weren't you answering the page? Sounds all right. Christ, Whalen, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Good. Ah. They're cutting it close. Next base is incoming an arterial spin still dark. Yeah, we need you at the front terminal. terminal. They've got Galuskin out of his cell. Well, Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. Park. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging and faces and talking to the ASF. All right, I'll turn it down some more. Do. Got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I can call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No, I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm doing my thing. Wait, what only sounds there? Happy, Mr. Park? Oh, ecstatic, uh, Mr. You. FMRI is still dark. 
You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? I am a master I computer programmer. More than kind to his programming skill and considerable dedication oh. to the Murkoff Corporation. He's telling you all about it. Fuck hey, me, they're bringing him in. Yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Take your seat. Quickly, Mr. Park. Head will need to roll if the fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Arterial spin labeling is back online. Good thing. Positioning imaging plates. Jesus. You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Yeah. Sure. Hold on. They only give me categorical. You need to exit the room, sir. No kidding. I'm gonna run my ass out of here. Y'all are clones, aren't you? Y'all look the same. Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. On the floor! Down! Hands where I can see them! Mr. Whalen Park. Consulting contract oh, 8208. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is win. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Yeah, Did you hear that, that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. No. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Whalen Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine Program? No, no, I didn't hear Mr. that Blair. either. That is uh -huh. brave indeed, Whalen. No, the Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. I got long. I just got long and told. Mr. Park here a light. <laughs> <That'll cut. laughs> The watch will become one of them. Hours could have passed, or weeks. Brain still was static. They made me watch the engine. The engine. I have to get help. I have to call help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with the with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fucked up. 
I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up that. You think he fucked up? Hi, Jamma. How you doing? Welcome to Pure Terror. Is this gonna get stupid? <laughs> I've already played through this a little bit, and it's just, yeah, it's gonna get ridiculous. I'm gonna die a lot. You might even hear me scream, and yeah. See how high-pitched I can get tonight. But I'm going all the way through this. <laughs> yeah. I'll open you up. I'll open you up and show you. You wait right there. I'm waiting right here. I'm not moving. Too long, and you might do something you regret. No, you don't lose. Too good for the likes of us. Think you're different? Something special? There are no observers here. Now, get the fuck out of here. Absolutely, I, I got no issues. I'm out. But oh, no. Yeah, it's a party I don't want to be a part of. Oh, God damn it. Where the hell did he come from? <laughs> come back here. No, God. Oh, get up that. What the hell? Why didn't you climb that? See what I mean? It's going to be fun. That's just the beginning. Bad idea. We get out of here through reception, and then Merc Tactical clean it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here with it. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the right. lights are on. Find a radio. Merc off has none control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside help doesn't come without outside attention. There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. Let's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was a, was a safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken and too dangerous. You want responsibility for every legally shaky thing you did on the Murkoff Company payroll? Running. I know I don't. It's too late to worry about that. This just has to stop. You're scared. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm going to give you a whole new something to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. <laughs> Are you threatening me? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, shit. Get up. Get up. We're moving. Oh, hey, who are you? Oh, shit. Oh, God damn. Everybody's dead! <laughs> Help me, please. I'm a doctor. I need to get a hold of my... No problem. 
I was. Stop. I'm a patient like you. Stop. 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 That was brutal. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked in one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor. Then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Right. Oh shit. Why? Ms. Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Miss Lisa Clark of Leadville, Colorado, in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon, which is me. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consulting contract, 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illnesses. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corp. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try and fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be canceled and the family would be saddled with non -ins not insignificant health care debts. Hopefully she understood. Yeah, you friggin' threaten her, you dick. But if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This one I will pers I, this one I want to take care of personally, so I can just fucking kill her. Thanks, Jeremy Blair. Yeah, I hope you die. But anyway, we're out of here. Damn it. You know, I've seen it before, it still made Don't me jump. Look at us. I love him. I love him? Sick. Cannibal in the kitchen. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa, when I die, when you finish the lawsuits that let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate hitmen. Don't let them 
show you my body, just bury it or burn it. Let my sons ring my memory whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. Yep, that's nasty. this part I need to find the handcuff key and it's a pain in the ass I just can't remember where the hell it was <clears throat> Shut up. Shut up and run. Oh God! Yeah, I know. Wow, I did that the first time. Good job. I just gotta find a way out. That dude was angry. Any batteries in here? No batteries. No oh, battery. I'll take that. Gotta find the way out. I have to. Ah, shit. Run, 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 run. Oh. Okay, that one's pretty smooth. The rest of this probably won't.
it. <laughs> can't fight him either. Stop. Oh, I gotta get out. Ow. Hey, how many jump scares is that so far I've yelled at? Yeah. No. <clears throat> I think that means he's close. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, I hate the sound of that saw. Oh 
shit. Oh, cool. I got an auto save. I have to do that crap again. What's up? Now you see. No. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. You can go on and knock your murder there. Oh, that's disgusting. God. Varying effects. Lisa or whoever finds us know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they'd gone through the German so-called therapy, the engine. So much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's ripped out of them, and too many. Other things pushed back in. Man, no shit. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkoff made them monsters. Dr. Rosette said the engine had varying effects. The variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. Oh god, I can't read. I took it as idle cafeteria, small talk, rolls, endless chatter. I should have listened. Yeah, he ain't gonna lie, dude. Oh, hi. Um, God. yeah, we're review along there. Okay, two thirty seven. the one he's beating his head up against. battery. Don't, yeah, well, I haven't yet. Try not to die. Oh shit, he's checking beds. I'm not here. Damn it! Save me! Save me! Oh 
Door's locked. That's not good. I gotta take a hit. Well, I can't hide there either. Oh my god! <laughs> I just got music and it made me jump. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, docks. Markov Psychiatric Systems, case number 209. Patient Frank Antonio Minera. 36 year old male. Uh, therapy status minimal morphogenic engine activity and only at extreme stages five and six levels of hormone therapy dream states return repeatedly to image of isolation and betrayal zero lucid state diagnostics every bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with histories of tobacco and marijuana exceptional exceptionally low REM activity interview notes at the time of this interview Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228 he was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern 9, whatever that is, Wernick. Concern, concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men, he continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating, if I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Monera if he cannot find something he likes to eat. It's got to be the dude that is far running after us. So. Outstanding. He thinks he's a vampire or something. Go away! This is my place. You can have your place, man. I just got battery. You gotta get me killed. Fuck off. I'm supposed to turn off the gas valve, but I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I'm gonna 
six. Oh, well, guess it'd probably be in the gas room. That's where I'd put it. Saws around. Panera, you in here? Shit. I can smell you. No, you can't. Really. Oh. Go away, go away. Oh shit. Find him. Me too. That just worked? Find him. <laughs> Feed me. Fucking cannibal. I don't want to get out of here. God, ah. Jesus Christ. Get off of me. Dead end. Nope. Ah, it hurts. Oh, God damn. No. Oh, God, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Screw your 
rips off. Gas room. Gas room. There's a valve. I don't know where the friggin' valve's at. He's following me. Oh shit, I thought he was behind me. Running again! Why do you keep sending me that? Yep, gotta take a hit. One battery left. That's the Find the main valve. Okay, I'll give that a shot. I didn't see this door before. My God! Yep, that's him. <laughs> oh, my Can't get around him. Well, that was smooth. Bye. Right into a dead end. And VHS girl, I'm oh, I'm great. <laughs> How are you? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this game is stressful. It's Outlast, the, the original. This is the DLC, and this, yeah, I. I can't wait to play too. I gotta get through this first. But. I'm trying to find this gas valve. I have no freaking idea where it's at. I'm a cockpit. Back to the walker somewhere. Oh, really? Feed me! 
I've seen bits and pieces. I don't know how it ends or anything, but I know you're going to that village. That's about all I know. God, I'm dumb. Okay, now we're somewhere. How many times I ran that stupid corner? Look at that gas room. Oh, 
Oh, battery! Lifesaver. Yeah, turn the damn thing. Thank God. Did it? Because it took me a while to. <laughs> Don't do it, and it's just, I don't know. I'll start, though. I'll work on it, though. God, he's still here. Now what have I got to do? Jesus, oh, we're back to finding the radio. Lesser known, well, I'll go excerpt from 1957 and comment on IG report, blah, blah, blah. So influencing human behavior. Central use of psychochemicals in political action operations is well recognized, although it has not been explored as thoroughly as might be expected. Chemical division includes it as an objective of its program to be prepared to support or make such operations possible. Non-chemical methods of accomplishing political action operations are also included in the program. That's a lot of stuff. Bay Lawler, April 15th, 1958. Present the above that word excerpt to Technical Services Division for budgeting and authorization of continued research into research of Dr. Rudolf Wernick. Oh yeah, he's the Nazi dude. And Project Wallrider. Autopsy of recovered test subjects shows chemical content of bodies, metallic tumors, evidence of subdermal combustion. Damn. That indicates heavy psychochemical doses. The note, all that. Okay. Oh God, I wish I could kill him, really. I recommend getting our asses out of here, but. Dead end.
Oh, that's bright. Where are we at? Am I outside? Oh, we are outside. Find something else to eat. God. In a hot pocket. Oh, you broke your microwave because you did dude's head in it. Oh, yeah, hot pockets are out. Yeah, night vision's no good here. Man, I don't even want to walk any further in here. <laughs> no? All's good. All's good. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm going to make it. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry. No, I'm not. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Probably. Oh, God. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Yeah. Do we have a defibrillator anywhere near? I oh. might need it. Yeah, clear! I'm saying. Huh. What's up, Zothus? How you doing? Huh. I need some Zoloft. <laughs> Screw me out. I thought Blair Witch was bad going through the woods. Screw this crap. You can't see nothing. The night vision is blinding. This is insane. Oh, go towards go into the light. Yeah. All the footsteps, the bloody footprints too. Oh shit. Any choices. That's probably not. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. Okay, I think so far this one's giving me the most screams. I don't know. 
I don't like it. I really kind of not screaming like a little girl, but it's still early, I think. <laughs> you want to you want to go through the rest? <laughs> oh, what the hell is that? What? Somebody, somebody, somebody! Hi! Oh, battery. Pretty bad when you're getting excited over a battery. I get excited over the fucking exit right now. <laughs> I'm saying most girls get excited over batteries, smart I, guys. Really? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know where to go now. Just follow this. I'm gonna have an open window or something here. Is there a vent? trapped in here. How is there a building? I'm outside a big old insane asylum. Oh. Trying to escape it. I don't think I want to go through the pr prison block. Alright, back this way. We're going this way now. Good. Yeah, nice and squishy. Didn't make it. Wall rider's been through here. I think. Right. Oh, come on, we're gonna go back in the woods. Why do I want to look in here? <laughs> I don't want to look in here at all. <laughs> oh, glad I did. Restock batteries. than the other ones. <laughs> oh, hey, you're floating on air. Look at that. You? I hate you. Oh, look at those eyes. I don't want to look at them anymore. Look at my eyes. Am I supposed to just drop down here? I guess so. My vision is shit. Cannibal, but roaming around here. Does that say something? Is that, in, is that French? That's French. ladder. No. What door? Um, the paint oh, can. Paint can. <laughs> oh, 
Hey. I'm not remodeling the place. <laughs> no, it needs a lid. No. Okay. What? Edward. Who? I don't. I don't know. All that music. Oh, hi, guys. Um, yes. They want to eat my face. I was just gonna say they're gonna eat your face. There's no door there to shut, damn it. Well, they were nice. Uh, that's not nice. Oh, good! We've been playing basketball with a skull, oh, God! Oh. Hey, was that a three-pointer? I don't want to know. What the hell, dude? Ah! Fucking god, this game is... Duh! Going up to the guard tower? They got a gun in there, that'd be great. Blast everything. Oh, no, let me in. Oh, other doors open. At least something important. Okay, from J. Billings, Murkoff Corp. To K. Vigalando, Murkoff Corp. Subject, patient, Samuel. Kurt, we've got another one. And I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Damn. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Warren Key's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing or hearing of a contracted security guard. It seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story of his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case or the others before him. It's one thing for formal, it's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall under the delusions of their own patients. It's another thing entirely of those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne? We need to talk in person, Billings. Was it a virus? Everybody okay still? Sorry. Oh, 
<laughs> Where are you going? Somebody's lost your damn mind. See the ladder. <laughs> Going up. Oh, there's a funky. Don't trust them. They'll tell you it's science, but it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. Billy is the wall rider. Oh. Alright. Well, it's a prologue. Everybody's played this, right? Outlast, the first one? Maybe. Hopefully. Well. Yeah. Ignore me. You might get spoilers. But I don't know. Oh, shit. That doesn't sound good, they're getting mutilated in there. Yeah, well, I don't think we want to go through the door. Get the hell out of here. Dude! Asshole! Why should we have to be for Why do we have to Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. Oh, radio. Come get me. Leadville 911, what's your emergency? Ah, shit. Oh, it's you. Yes! Wailing Park, you couldn't just, couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. There's no fighting now. Yeah, come kill him. Come get him. Do me a favor and die here, Park. No, you first. Meat bag. Yep, that's meat bag. All you can do is run through the sun. Oh, yeah, jerk! Fucking Christ. Yep, run it. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, you go that way. Attention you the last time around. An emergency evacuation is in process. Please proceed immediately to the administrative block to exit. Oh, quit walking up. Are advised being caught in the What's the future of our technology? You would think it was magic. Oh, he's alive. Sure, Mark. And magic, you would think it was. Yeah, exit. Exit. Ad admin block. That's wonderful. They did all Another poor soul. 
the Father Martin. Don't be afraid you're doing his work. Yeah, you're a psychopath. Somebody who looks as much like a priest as if this place looks like an asylum, writing instructions on the wall, talking about God. Tells me not to be afraid. <laughs> How was I ever a part of this inhuman bullshit, greed-driven, moral genocide? The monsters murk off rip from tortured minds the lengths their jackbooted business school worms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but in some small-minded interventionist God is listening. Kill Jeremy Blair before I die. San sanity and avarice. There's no pain he doesn't deserve. There is no radio. No hope of reaching the outside world. Only escape. Fuck you! Fun hitting the greens last week. We should make a drift, the drive more often. Was reviewing some old test records from the early days of Project Wall Rider, and something sparked my interest. Refollowing the project back in 2010, apparently we had issues with female employees experiencing psychosomatic pregnancies. Something to do with them, how the morphogenic engine interacts with the immune system. All Greek to me. Am I right? It was more often fatal than not, and these were employees and not patients, so a little harder to sweep under the rug. But the morphogenic engine activity is in these ladies' marrow was off the charts, and these are women who were never even exposed to additional hormone therapy. Now, now I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth, but I can read a spreadsheet, and if the projected profits from Project Wall Rider are half of what they say they are, I just have one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an equal opportunity affliction. Seems unethical to pass up such a potential windfall. Sincerely, Jer. Oh. Come here! So no more sickness! No more nightmares! Get out of my way! I'm not the sick one! You lying motherfuckers! Fuck you! Fuck you! You fucking down! You fucking look at me! No more sickness! No more nightmares! Oh, you're kind of angry. I'm not the sick ah! one! You lying motherfuckers! Fuck you! Fuck you, you filthy piece of shit! Come here! No more sickness! Get out of my no more nightmares! I'm not the sick one! You lying motherfuckers! Don't you fucking look at me! Fuck you, ah! you filthy piece of shit! Come here! No more sickness! No more nightmares! Ah! Ah! I'm not the sick one! You lying motherfuckers! Oh yeah, you're a sick one, all right. Oh god, one of them's coming! It's not even human anymore! <laughs> Block it! Shut it in! Yeah, that guy was a little angry. Ooh, battery. Need a vent, or there's gotta be a way up over that where they just blocked it. Look 
behind me. No! Oh, get outside! Get outside! Get outside! Oh, well, I got, okay, well, Sarah told me earlier it was fine. Hold on. How's that? That better? I guess we'll know when it gets really loud again. I do not want to be down. But I saw, yeah, I did see an open window. Why do I want to check this out? Maybe we're spring. Hey, documents. <sighs> Above the knees, below the navel, sliced and sewn on Gluskin's table. To make a place to push inside, the, the groom will make herself a bride. Make himself a bride. Above the knees, below the navel, navel sliced and sewn on Gluskin's table. To take, make a place to push inside, the groom will make... Is it the same shit over... It's the same shit. Was this guy Frankenstein himself a girlfriend? A little bit of grotesque weird science thing going on. Yeah, and I'm gonna move that card out of the way. Because I'm an idiot. Come on in. Come on in. I'll save you. Probably not. Oh. I didn't even see that. Must have dropped it when I panicked. Gotta be getting close to the end. We've been going for an hour and a half now. Yep, no pressure. None at all. I think my heart rate's down to normal, though. Oh, jeez. For now. What was it a dead end? Huh. Oh, what the hell?
Not gonna make it that easy, huh? Oh, documents. What do you got? Kill us, burn the building. Worse than death here. Kill us, kill us. Short and sweet. I don't have anything to do that with. What the hell? This has got to be... Who's there? Who said that? What the fuck? Really? So how do I get over there? Bring off the breaker. I got this freak in there. Turn it back on. Power is still on, electricity. I need to think, Lisa. I thought the power was evidence that some manable, some human force still controlled some part of Mount Massive. But nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive, and even that not for long. You were always the reasonable one, Lisa. You would tell me to calm down, take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity rule this place. Whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here. I need to shut it down again. Yeah, go down there again. Crap.
Was that blood there before? Oh no. No, no, no. running. God. It's been a while since I had him on one of those. Huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's right on my ass. What hit me? No, oh, I couldn't get the damn door. Hey kiddo, how you doing? Oh, I called you kiddo. Hi, Squeaks. What's up? You gonna listen to me have a heart attack? Cool, cool. I just thought I had to stop battery. I did. What the fuck is in the water with me? Oh, <laughs> thanks for the sub, Squeaks. Squeaky. Jesus! It would be so easy. I don't believe in it anymore. Getting the truth out? There is no truth. Only lies we accepted too long to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way out of it Wasn't for the, if it wasn't for the boys. Damn this place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. A lot of suffrage. What the hell? This gets better and better and better. God, it sounds so real. The water dropping around me.
Oh, yes, please. This is a long, different, kind of off the wall way to the admin section. Back to hell, okay. If we had a visitor, if we did, he could be our goat. What in creation are you talking about? He just likes to hear himself just talk. We need a goat. There's reason here. To bear our guilt, our gender, a small piece of flesh between us and the blade. You want to give him the Luskin? That's the idea. I, I, I don't want to get Gluskin's attention. He'll hurt us. He'll hurt you. <laughs> You'd make a pretty one. No sense in pulling a mad dog's tail. We feed him a goat and leave him alone. I'm holding my breath. I'm unbelievable. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I don't really hate it. Yeah, I do. I don't know. Maybe. So we got a couple hillbillies in there all ready to get all deliverance on me or what? A gift for the groom. What? What the fuck? Got loot. Ah, okay. Back inside. Like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise anymore. Suicides, suicides seem wise. Yeah. Is he dead? 
Oh yeah, the rope would probably have done that. Dude, calm down. You're gonna reach out towards me, are you? Excuse me. Trying to leave. Quiet! I just hate you! You got Josie. You give us to him. The man downstairs. The man. Very bad. Very, very bad. You tell me. I'm not a guy. You remember? <laughs> Like I'm supposed to go up there, but I can't. Oh, because I don't need to. Um, focus. Goats, kill the rats. Oh He's shit! Here. Inside the walls, kill him. Oh shit! This idiot wants to die. Um, not really, but. How the hell did I get? Oh, I see. That does not look good at all. There's a, a leak. Now what I miss? What the fuck is that? Oh, 
my god! We had a... What are you doing?! A man's body, mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. The kind of thing a man cannot see without changing it. Yeah, I want to burn my eyes out on that one. In, in re uh, Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was, until recently, the most miraculous thing I'd seen. Completely outside of reasonable belief and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You always said I was too literal-minded, tried to turn everything into an if-then statement. Lately, I've widened the, my horizons. How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer. Money, profit, things we made just because we could. Oh yeah, that's probably the most grotesque I've seen in this game thus far. That was nasty. Do we need a, a reshoot of that? I think everybody got that, yeah? Alright, I'll just be sadistic. One more shot. Alright, we're out of here. That's gross. Twisted ass game. Please, no. <laughs> I haven't seen that, but uh, yeah, I know. Shocker. One movie I haven't seen. But uh, yeah, it's pretty gross. Oh, hey, VHS girl. Thanks for the follow. Why well, my alarm didn't go off? My alert, but I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. What am I supposed to fight or run? I can't get out the door. That'd be another way out. My love is gone. Ow. Oh, it's dude. Uh. Well, there's the first death. I don't want to keep trying the door. I can't get out. There's got to be another way. He don't mess around. Yeah. Oh, 
Freak, that's for sure. You have so my right there. Yeah, he does. Just kind of a sick way of doing that game, huh? <laughs> Back in this room. Ew. Through you, I'm running from you all. That just took me back in the same damn room. What the? F You're a goddamn freak. much better. Just want to get out of here. You can never escape. Thanks. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you don't. Shit. Ow. Oh, God damn. Oh, God. Tell me you're okay. You suffer when I. What? What to do something like that to yourself? Oh, it's him. You gotta look at your face at the beginning. I didn't either until I, he, I looked up and I got a good look at him that time. In the night vision, it just kind of threw me off. But yeah, it's that some bitch. Oh, what a sadistic fuck. 
There's no place like home. Ew. Yeah. Can I got this door. Uh -oh. Mama ain't happy, ain't no Ain't nobody happy. Okay. Darling, can't hide from me. You make yourself a gift for me. A delicacy to be unwrapped. Oh, shit. And unwrapped again. Savored. Here we go. You know, this is the end of it. I've been a little vulgar, and I want to say I'm sorry. I just... What the hell? You know how a man gets when he wants to know. No. But after the ceremony, when I've made an honest woman of you, I promise I'll be a different man. A legacy to be the father I never had. I'll never let anything happen to our children. Not like. I have to wait here. I know you must be just as eager as I am to consummate our love. But try to enjoy the anticipation. I don't even. Oh. This will help you relax. Twelve hours later. Try to bleed less. No, 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 I know no, the fair no, sex no, often endure no, the same no, wounds with more suffering, but you really need to make an effort. Oh, God! Damn! Get me the fuck out of here! Jim, that shit is groin! No, I can't so even look away. <laughs> Love. Oh, isn't for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold still now, darling. Oh, is it my turn? All these unsightly hairs. Oh. Silky smooth. Like a little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. Why are we... No! 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 Don't! Please! Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Cringe. Bad. Would I pass out? I would... <laughs> what the hell? You oh, no, have no, an no. amazing bone structure. 
such soft skin. You're going to be beautiful. What is this rickety ass medieval fucking thing you just put me on? A woman has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know. But just try to endure. Oh, you're not gonna do for this. For my sake. For point the of sake. view, cut my junk off, are you? He's gonna. That's disgusting. It won't take long. A few snips of the flesh here and here. Cut away everything vulgar. Like your head? Place to welcome my seed. To grow our family. The incision will hurt. Oh no, 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 no! Birthing is never easy. I'll make the cut fast. Just close your eyes and think of that guy. Oh! Oh, I can't look away. It won't let me. Oh, yeah! Get me out of here! Let's run! We're out! Woo! Get up! Get back here! Yes, get dressed. Get the camera. What the fuck? I thought it was over. I got no batteries. Gotta be. I don't know which way to go anymore. See no hiding spots. Oh, I made a noise. Damn it. I can't even run away. Fuck. I'm dead. I don't know where to go. Uh -oh. There's death number two. Camera does nothing. Still intact. I'm here, Lisa. It's still me. I'm still me. <laughs> He tried to make me his bride to cut me. Maybe I was wrong. Telling the world would only draw it here. Should this place just die or infest her here? I won't tell the world if it means spreading the infection. Let it die alone. Let it rot. I need a fucking battery is what I need. I thought I had a couple left before he... Be a way out. Hey, Paul, darling, come back to me. 
No, you have twisted. You gotta run out of places to go. I know you're not liking all this. Or are you just another whore? Where's he at? I can't see. Right there. That's got to be the way out back here. I just don't know where to go. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. <laughs> he misses you, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. But we'll try it again after I hopefully get out of this mess of shit. I'm not going to be beautiful because you're fucking disgusting. Oh, Jesus. God damn it! Right there! Well, I know which way to go now.
game is insane. I think it just triggers the minute I do that. Oh my god, that's broken. Yeah, I thought it was over. The battery. I'm gonna stock up before I get my ass handed to me again. That uh Okay, we're at two and a half hours. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Not much way to go. Probably the vent, huh? 
in my broken ass body. Oh, that's nice. Holy shit. <laughs> now I actually had to take a bathroom break. I've been sitting here for a half hour. It's like, I gotta go now. So, I'm still here. We ain't not going anywhere until this is over. Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, hunted, and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and a ruined lust whatever story he's telling himself he's not making women to bury his children he's making women to kill them lisa i want you to burn this place and any evidence in it ever existed to the ground destroy the murkoff corporation bury it in its shame take away its money wipe it from history this man thinks he's in love he thinks the therapy he thinks the therapy made him better everything reeks of death and fear piss and coppery blood meat decomposing to, to game that's gross. Creepy psycho guy. <laughs> I like that. Alright. Yep, I just jumped down on a broken fucking angle. That's what I do. Oh my god. He did. He. Ugh. What the hell? out of here what a freak oh god he's back What the hell? No, 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 no! God damn, I can't get out of this. Ah, well, I found the key. Take it. I need to find a way. Right there. God, here we go again. Shit. 
God damn it. That's gonna take a bit. Please just give up on me. Hopefully you don't just pick this one. back in here. Because you're going to go to that vent, that's why.
No, no, no! One more. I try, and I try. You all betray me. You can oh, hang. God. I can rest. No happy endings here. Just death. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, I hate to imagine our anniversary. Hold still. God. Damn it, what are you? Come! Oh, damn it, darling! No, you need to behave! Ah. Ah. We could have been beautiful. My mic's off. Got his ass. Yeah. He's dead. The amateur surgeon, father to be, husband, his gut shredded and pulled from his belly. Try not to laugh. Oh God, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. Oh, oh um. All right, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. He comes off of that thing and grabs me again. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Warnick from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His average advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper, and legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients 14306-8, and 14868-1 have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have come through Warnick's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. Three. I think we can safely assume Warnick is sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmity. To be ignorant of the real discovery at hand, even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Respectfully, Helen Granite. Yeah, mark off legal. Oh, okay. Unknown to 
Um, you need to watch the game and a lot of this stuff that just happened. Will be, yeah. Or play it. Actually play it if you can. <laughs> Oh, this is so trippy. Did Marcus really get out? Mark. Hey, dickhead. Help me up. No. <laughs> Fuck. No one can know. No one. Oh shit. Wall rider. Yeah. Hated him. Oh goddamn. You might blow a mess. Holy shit. Jeremy Blair. The asshole. Jeremy Blair, my supervisor, supervisor, a man who who'd see me skin salted and raped for a promotion and a few martinis. Injured. Dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him. Really, I am. But there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> Took dude's Jeep while he's in there investigating. That's fucking cool. Oh 
Oh my god, that was cool. You press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoics with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Yes. Oh, there you guys have it. Me freaked out of my fucking gourd. And the whistleblower DLC. Yeah, that. Jesus. Hey, that ain't bad. Two hours, 50 minutes. First time ever going through it. Fucking terrifying. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, Outlast 2. Not tonight. Not I'm not doing Outlast tonight. <laughs> or Outlast 2 tonight. But what you guys think? Yeah, it's girls, you've seen this. You've played this already though, haven't you? Right now, I don't know. I might get into some new world here for a little while and then call it, but. Yes, do it. <laughs> I don't actually have, well, yeah, I'm gonna play it on the, I got it on the Xbox, but the Xbox screws up a lot, so. I'll probably start with Outlast 2 on Monday. Cause I won't be able to do it. Or maybe, no, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll start it tomorrow. I'll get it tonight and let it upload, download and all that, and I'll play it tomorrow. I'll get it started anyway. No, this was a whistleblower part of Outlast 1. This is what happened prior to Outlast. So this, the guy I just played was the guy that wrote the letter to the investigator. Oh, it was not. Well, they're both pretty good. They're all really good. The Outlast is just longer. I thought this one was a little bit scarier because there's a lot more running around, hiding. What was my death toll? How many, how many times did I die? Three times? Four? No. I died more than that now. Five times. So. Outlast, I died a lot more. Yeah, so this was actually the prologue to Outlast. This is how the events came to be for Outlast to be, yeah. But that ending was just, that was that was an awesome ending. The dude's in there doing his thing, and he gets out and steals his Jeep. Bye! <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs>